Hello. Um, so this is my first time using screencasting and uh, recording something. So I'm kind of nervous, especially because I've noticed that my accent is um, stronger while doing this. I even got a, a microphone uh, to try to see if my voice get through more clearly. So I'm gonna try to do this. Uh, on my um, to do this. So, as I said before, I teach an anthropology and archaeology is uh, is one of the part of the of the course. However, archaeology is something that the students find a little bit boring when they realize that it's not what they see on the television. Many students have. Uh, a perception that archaeology is about adventures, exciting, exciting trips, treasures, um, Indiana Jones, things related to Atlantis uh, and aliens. And they have a very big shock when they find out that archaeology could be sometimes a little bit boring, that archaeology is about theory, about method, about defining certain uh, areas and to recognize certain types of archaeological evidence. So I this I here I'm showing you my mind map with the development of uh, of of my um, process to design this lesson. So I'm gonna focus more in the technology enhanced active learning idea that I did for this class, for this part of the class. So I decided to use two, um, two types of technology. The first one, the polls, and the second one, solve chat uh, to create some tutorials and some activities for students to do. In this presentation, I'm gonna focus more in the use of polls everywhere because I really like this, um, this uh, technology. I learned this during my first uh, seminar of active learning, and I have been using it a lot, especially when I'm introducing any new concept to the students. So I'm going to show you uh, my, this is my account here in polls everywhere. As uh, you see, I have several um, polls already made. And for example, every time I want to introduce a concept, I do one poll to see what the students know about that, that subject before explaining. So it can be used as a diagnostic tool to see how much uh, students know. Also, you can repeat the poll after the lesson to, to use it as a formative assessment tool to see what the student learned. So I'm going to show you several of them. Here is the one, the basic one uh, that I use for the for the introduction of of anthropology. Anthropology is about, and as you see, there are many um, many answers from the students. Um, of the problem with this site is that only allow only forty responses, so you have to be very careful and direct the students uh, to um, submit. Uh, just word, not complete sentences, or um, sometimes they can go crazy submitting stuff or joking around. So as you see, I decided to show the result as a cloud chart. Um, so in a in a cloud chart, you can see the submission in different size based on saliency. So the idea here is when they see the 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 bigger the bigger words. Those are the most common answer among the students. So what I do with this type of, of polls, I'm gonna show you now the one with archeology. span um, These have a very low participation that day. Um, I allow this, I explain my students how to submit their answers by they can do it through a cell phone or they can do it through the website. And also I teach them how to read this chart. At the beginning, I was doing the reading myself and just asking some questions, but I discovered that if I pass the weight of the, make the interpretation to the students, they start arguing about themselves. They even start defending their own submission. I was very interested. I just add as a moderator and um, the students have a very nice interaction between each other through the use of this poll. So 
I really like uh, using Paul for this, and I really recommend that. The only um, negative aspect of this poll is that, again, it's only uh, get only is limited to 40 responses per poll, but it will it work very well with a small group. Um, so that's it. Thank you.